This year, we're celebrating. It's the 50th anniversary of our renowned UW Carbone Cancer Center. UW Carbone shapes how the world understands cancer, and we achieve this impact with you. Seed funding advances promising new ideas. Innovative therapies like precision medicine promise the right treatment to the right person at the right time. I tell my patients that historically, we used to develop drugs like chemo. And chemo was a blunt tool. It would kill just cells that divide fast, like cancer, and then would kill some good cells. Well, the therapies that we are developing for cancer right now are completely different. And we at UW and Carbon Cancer Center have access to some of these very new, very novel therapies and are able to offer them to patients. New immunotherapy agents, they have really changed the way we treat many diseases, including melanoma, lung cancer, uh, some forms of colon cancer, gastric cancer. We have drugs that can turn off a key gene that's mutated in a, in a cancer cell, which is incredible. We now have cell therapy programs for patients with tumors other than leukemias, lymphomas, or liquid tumors. And what these therapies are is taking patients' own immune cells, manipulating them in the labs, in a way reprogramming them so they can go back and attack patients' tumors. We work to visualize the invisible. Advances in our imaging techniques allow non-invasive analysis of cancer at the earliest stages. The researchers here in the Department of Medical Physics are really people who are experts in every technology. Ultrasound, CT, MRI, nuclear medicine, optics. You know, x-rays are invisible. And so actually for the first time in history, we can actually have cameras that see the beam hitting the patient's tissue. And again, you, we need millimeter level accuracy to be able to kill tumor tissue and spare normal tissue. And so to be able to see the beam and verify the delivery is critically important. That ability to sort of be right at the cutting edge of making new technologies and, and actually spinning them off into companies is what Wisconsin has always been sort of a premier place for. This place is known as like one of the crown jewels of the medical physics world, you know. So uh, just uh, the opportunity to be part of that was, was uh, uh, almost irresistible. Clinical trials help us understand new efforts to tame cancer. Participants young and old enable major medical breakthroughs. I think back to when my mother was diagnosed with breast cancer. The only options for treatment at that time were a mastectomy. And to think if we go forward 50 years, I'm diagnosed with breast cancer. And the chemotherapy agents literally saved my life. So the idea of a vaccine that's being discovered in a lab and now being given to women like myself and could potentially prevent the reoccurrence of breast cancer is really incredible. But I feel that this is a tribute to my mother. I'm sure that she is proud of me for actually um, volunteering to be in this clinical trial. And I know that this clinical trial is going to help millions of women going forward. And one day women will receive a vaccine uh, for the prevention of breast cancer, and breast cancer will be regarded like smallpox, a disease of the past. We've only just begun to defeat cancer. Thanks to you for providing essential seed funding for advancing the most promising and innovative research, for recruiting superstar physicians and scientists, and for providing outstanding patient care at the UW Carbone Cancer Center.